everyone, I'm Allison. I'm Bryce, and, and we're, we're Better, Better Half, Half Reviews. Reviews. And today we're talking about Facilis. This is a game designed by David Diaz, and it's published by Kids Table Ward Gaming. In Facilis, you're a paleontologist, and you're digging up bones and fossils, some of which will, you'll sell off for tools, and others you will keep and make dinosaurs and score points. And the goal is to win, of course. So, when you're playing this game, like you said, you're trying to go excavating. Um, you have this giant board that's covered with different tiles. And inside the tiles are a whole bunch of teeny tiny dinosaur bones that are randomized by putting this cool little topper. You shake it up, and then you have a way to slide in and put the tiles in. And on your turn, you're going to move your little worker around, and you can choose to like dig and everything. And you've got these awesome little tweezers, and you can pick out the dinosaur bones. Um, but before you can pick out any dinosaur bones, yeah. you have to dig up the sediment. That's true. So some of the sediment, like rock, takes a lot of movement or a lot of actions to move. And some of it, like sand, is really easy to brush off. Mm -hmm. So you have to kind of uncover the holes first before you can go dig for those bones. Yes, yeah, so it's like a little puzzle in and of itself because you can like push things along if you have enough like actions for it, uh, enough to spend. And yeah, once you can see then, you can start to dig. And then you have different cards that you're going to be collecting. Some for points, some for abilities. And it goes, I forget, how many rounds? I don't remember. I don't remember either. But it, there, there you go, that's kind of the gist of it. And you so, can push people off the board too. That is rude. He does that sometimes. Um, I don't like that. You push your little excavator off. But anyway. So with this game... I want to talk about some of the things that I like first. Yeah? Okay. I love the components for this. Kids Table Board Gaming is known for having, you know, cool, fun little pieces, and they didn't disappoint. So, like, these tiles, like, they're just, like, satisfying. Like, they're big and chunky, and I love collecting them and just playing with them. I like the bag of bones. You have, like, rib cages and femurs and skulls yeah skulls and teeth and all sorts of cool hammers little, little things and they are tiny and like when i first saw i was like i knew about it but i forgot and like look at these tiny players and you're like i will get this i will get the bone it made me think of um operation mm. so there's no like buzzing if you miss <laughs> but yeah so there's some really cool pieces in this game and some fun little gimmicks like i, I it is gimmicky but I like it. I don't care if it's gimmicky. It's cute and fun. <laughs> and then the theme, of course, would appeal to lots of kids and families. And like that's what this game is geared towards. Like dinosaurs and Bryce. I like dinosaurs. <laughs> Jeez. OK, my bad. <laughs> um, and then something else. This game is very easy to just start playing. It, like, it, there are different rules and everything. But basically, it's like, OK, use up your actions. You can do. X, Y, Z on your turn. Oh, you're out of actions. Next person's turn. Yeah, it's very simple mm -hmm. <laughs> um, to play. And it's kind of hard to master. I mean, it's not that hard to master. But there's a lot of different options for scoring points and, um, you know, completing dinosaurs or getting other, like, bonuses yeah. to help you score points. So, I mean, it's easy, but then you could think about it a lot and be like, well, do yes. I want to partially complete a ton of different dinosaurs? Or do I want to go for, like, completing every single dinosaur fully and getting a ton more points mm -hmm. that way? It's, yeah. it's up to you. It's, it's cool. an easy thing to play, but, yeah, there's different strategies that you can implement because, like, certain types of dinosaurs have, like, some of them are carnivores or live in the water, and those can get you different points if you collect enough sets of different types. But um, something that I like that they tend to do in their games is whether you're playing with tons of strategy or not, like, you know, if you're a younger kid, you're not really looking at the strategy. You're like, I want this dinosaur bone, and I want this. You can still score points, whatever you do, as long as you, like, complete something, you get points. Obviously, adults will be like, ooh, I need to get three more of this type of dinosaur and, like, two of these types of cards. And, yeah, they'll, they'll score a ton of points. But I like that no matter what you do, you can, you can feel like you did something on your turn, like you got something out of it. Now to the negatives. How do you feel about the negative side of things? This is the negative side, <laughs> apparently. Oh, okay. 
Um, I don't know. It's just not for me. It's a little too simple in my opinion. But again, that's I'm not necessarily the target market they're going for. I thought you just said you were because you love dinosaurs. Well, I mean, I do love dinosaurs. <laughs> you were just talking about. I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm just um, I mean, this is definitely more a family way game, um, maybe a gateway game, some something that non gamers can easily get into. Mm -hmm. um, so I mean, it just not necessarily for me. Yeah, I think, and that's not necessarily a negative. That just, yeah, how you feel. One thing that I was kind of disappointed about is this whole thing is about dinosaurs. And so you get a dinosaur card or you're looking at them and I'm like, I want to complete a dinosaur because that's, that'd be cool and that's a lot of points. That's how you lose. <laughs> when we played, I was trying really hard to complete a dinosaur and you were getting a ton of partials. Well, yeah. I, but so in, in our different plays and that I've tried, there's like no point in trying to complete a whole dinosaur. It's very hard to do and takes a lot of time away from actually getting points each turn. So I feel like I don't, I'm not motivated anymore whenever I play this to complete dinosaurs. I go I mean, for partials. It just depends because sometimes you can just, you're in a good spot and you can pick up like everything you need to complete a dinosaur. And it's like why score four points when you could get everything quickly and yeah. score like 20 points. I just feel like the payoff sometimes takes too long where I'm not really motivated to ever complete a dinosaur. I agree. I, my th typical strategy when I play this, I'm going to give away the secret sauce here, is just complete as many dinosaurs as you can because then you get oh, you know, all the different Well, symbols. like, yeah, partials. Not complete a well, dinosaur. You, but sorry. Do as many partial, like... Take partial bones. Take yeah. one bone and complete the dinosaur it's only a partial dinosaur or whatever mm. only get four points but then the sets yeah you collect so many different yes. um like the different carnivores different, and yeah, everything the carnivores and those symbols that you just like overwhelm yes that is where the points the end from. game points but yeah so i mean there's different strategies obviously uh, but that was kind of like my negative and that was just maybe because i was like oh dinosaurs and it's like oh, i don't need to really complete a whole dinosaur oh Mm. Anyway. Different strategies. Yeah. But overall, I think this game is is fun and it's creative and I think that it's like a little bit innovative and just kind of gimmicky in like the cool fun way. And so I think this is great for families, you know, kids who want to play a game real quick and like they can play it by themselves. They don't need a ton of help. Um, but it's not necessarily for me. It's good, but I'm not always pulling it out. I might pull it out if I'm, you know, like showing it to someone like a gateway game mm -hmm. or playing with like nieces and nephews or something yeah. I would definitely do that yeah yeah so kids table board gaming making some good family games check it out if you're interested I'm Allison I'm Bryce and we're better half reviews happy gaming have fun